So guys, welcome to this video on how to get past the gatekeeper. It's a very famous uh, topic, a very hard subject actually. A lot of people struggle with it, but I'm going to show you why you should actually use the gatekeeper and not getting passed through them. So let's get right into it. First of all, what is the gatekeeper? Well, you know, your ability to pass through the gatekeeper is very important because it can lead to either your ruin or your success. But in order to pass through the gatekeeper, you need to understand them. His job, guys, is not to prevent you from getting to the decision maker. The gatekeeper is making sure that you are not a waste of time. That's it. Their job is not to prevent you from getting to the decision maker. So guys, a very important rule here, the hardest it is to get through the gatekeeper, the easiest it is to close the decision maker. Like, you may feel sometimes uh, rejected because, uh, you know, the gatekeepers even don't let you uh, talk to the decision makers, but that's great because the hardest it is to get through them and the easiest it is to close the decision makers. So a little bit of a force will make you a ton of deals. Now guys, how to use the gatekeeper? You know, it's not about it's not about passing through them, it's about using them to influence the decision maker. And that's what is lacking in the business community is everybody is I mean in the cold calling community. Everybody is thinking like how can I get passed through the gatekeeper? But the reality is that you need to use the gatekeeper in order to get to the decision maker because the gatekeeper will actually influence the decision maker. Now guys, I want to show you what are the best practices when you are communicating to the gatekeeper. First, you need to understand that you have a very small window of opportunity. It's may, it may be 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 20 seconds, it's very short. And in uh, those uh, 15 seconds, what you need to do is to create a great impression. You need to be credible and to be professional and you must sound important. That's very uh, powerful because the more important you sound, the easiest it is to get passed through the gatekeeper. And um, you need to prove that you are not there to waste their time. Because, you know, if you are putting um, yourself at the place of the gatekeeper, they don't want the decision maker to be upset at them because they let you in. So the key here is that uh, they must feel confident and secure that you are not wasting time. Now guys, here is the interesting part, the exact script on how to get passed through the gatekeeper. Hello, this is Selim Shaimi. Is Bob available? You can even use your first name. It's uh, absolutely fine, it's even better. Hello, this is Selim. Is Bob available? Hello, my name is Selim. Is Bob available? Now, never ever say the name of your company. Like, hello, this is Selim from SC Media. Is uh, Bob available? Because uh, this is just uh, never going to work. I've never seen any cold call uh, that uh, having a, a success using uh, I'm from my company, I'm from this company. But if, it's, uh, if you're from Microsoft, of, cur of course, you need to use Microsoft, you need to use Apple. But nobody knows uh, SC Media or, uh, you know, so I'm, not, I'm just not going to use it. Now, here are some tips that will help you get passed through the gatekeeper. It's uh, some sentences that work great that have been actually battlefield tested by me personally. And uh, here is how it's looking. So, hello, this is Selim. Is John available? I had to call him back. And I don't know why, guys, but I had to call him back is actually working so great because the gatekeeper is thinking that you actually talked with uh, John. So they just give the phone directly. Another one, hello, I'm looking for John. Can you tell him that Selim is on the line, please? I had to call him back, thank you. And why thank you is so powerful because you are actually assuming that the gatekeeper is giving the phone directly to John. So you thank you at the end of, uh, of the sentence. It's very powerful and it works. Now, if the owner is not here, this is a moment when you got to uh, just take as much information as possible. So you may ask, when I can contact him back, please? What's the best way to contact him? And usually when you ask that question, they will just send you their email. So you can be like, okay, how do you spell his name, please, for the email? And by the way, I lost his phone number. It's 555. 
And using its 555 is very great because you are assuming that it's normal that she give you the phone number and she will be just, okay, 555-697. But in most of the cases, uh, unfortunately, they will not give you the phone number like this. But it's okay, you can just call another time. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you liked this video. Now you are ready to use the gatekeeper to your advantage. If you have any questions, you can ask me on Instagram. I actually answer all DMs. And if you need help to set up your own scripts for your business, click the link in bio. It's actually a free case study on how to start um, a business, a marketing agency, and how to use cold callings to make it work. So guys, I will see you on the next video.